When we look at the back of a Vizio HDTV, we see many different inputs. There are ports for HDMI cables, for cables with RCA jacks on the end, video, audio, RGB, coax, and USB ports. In some cases, you'll see an Ethernet and maybe an optical audio jack, too. The number and type of inputs vary from model to model. Before we go further, remember that all of this information is included in the Quick Start Guide. If you don't have your Quick Start Guide, go to Vizio.com forward slash support, search on your model number, and look for the Quick Start Guide download. This video will focus on the three most popular cables, HDMI, Component, and Composite, or AV. The best connection from a device to your Vizio HDTV is an HDMI cable. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. This cable will provide the sharpest, clearest, best quality picture and sound. HDMI cables can look slightly different, but they all have the same connectors on each end. An HDMI cable can transmit full 1080p resolution. The second best way to connect a device to your TV is using component cable. A component cable has separate video connections for green, blue, and red. It usually has another white and red connection for audio. While it's capable of full 1080p resolution, it requires multiple specific connections, meaning more can go wrong with it than with HDMI and resulting in a bulkier cable. Then there's the composite cable, also known as AV or audio video cable. Everyone seems to have a drawer full of composite cables. That's because they seem to come with every consumer electronic device. A composite cable has a yellow cable for video and a red and white for audio. Composite cable is only capable of transmitting a 480i resolution. For that reason, composite cables should be used as a last resort. These three cables, HDMI, Component, and Composite, are the three most popular cables in use. Composite is good, Component is better, HDMI is best. HDMI cables have a single connection that, when aligned properly, pushes into the port. Component cables utilize RCA jacks that slide onto the ports. Plug the green into the green, the blue into the blue, and the red video jack into the red video port. Be careful not to plug the red video jack into the red audio port. Finish it by plugging the white and red audio jacks into the white and red audio ports. Be sure to slide each jack tightly onto each port. If you are using component cables and your picture is black and white when it should be in color, you may have a couple of the jacks in the wrong ports. The composite cable also utilizes RCA jacks, and if there is a distinctly defined composite or AV port area that features a yellow video port, plug the yellow video jack into it, and then the white and red audio jacks into the respective ports nearby. Again, be sure each jack is tightly pushed into each port. You may have a model that incorporates the composite input into the component input. It looks like this. In this case, if you want to use composite or AV cables, you would plug the yellow jack into the green port and the white and red audio jacks into the white and red audio ports. No matter what cable you use, you need to select the proper input when it comes time to view that device on the TV. The inputs are named on the TV itself and in the input selection of the TV. Most models allow you to rename the inputs, making it much easier to find the connected device. If your TV is on an input with nothing connected to it, you may get a no signal screen. You simply need to choose the correct input. Use HDMI cables whenever you can. They are the best and easiest to use.